Planes of motion can definitely be hard to conceptualize. It's been years since I first learned it and I still have trouble with it. Frontal plane, sagittal plane, transverse plane, like what, what's what again? <laughs> What's up you guys, my name is Dr. Lift for Change, Justin Lee, physical therapist. I help PT students become high performers and help students get accepted into PT school. So if any of that resonates with you, feel free to subscribe so you don't miss a video when it drops. Okay, so understanding why you have planes of motion is gonna be actually really important because it categorizes all types of movement that humans do into three different categories. It will always fall in these three categories. Now, a certain movement can definitely be a part of one, two, or three different types of plane. This is what we call triplanar motion, right? But generally, they'll move in one plane of motion. So we will definitely go over that today. But the reason why this is so important is not only it helps simplify your understanding of human movement and so that you can categorize it into three different areas, but also you as a future physical therapist or somebody who's really into movement, you want to help others. And usually it's gonna be some sort of movement goal, right? So whether they're trying to squat 400 pounds or whether it's helping grandma or grandpa get up, sit and stand from a chair, or maybe it's, you know, you just improving your deadlift. You have to ask yourself, what planes of motion are these movements occurring? And how can I train that so that I can improve the effectiveness of those movements? Whether it's a squat, a sit to stand, or a deadlift. Ooh, now we're getting fancy. <laughs> so understanding these normal planes of motion can really benefit you in the way that you help and service others. Like I mentioned before, squats, sit to stands, deadlifts, you think about the different planes of motion that they're in, and then you train in that same plane of motion because the body will learn, hey, I'm gonna get stronger in this sagittal plane. In our next video, we're gonna be talking more about fundamental movement and moving, what types of movement actually happens in those different types of planes of motion. And this is where the fun begins because now we can start looking at different exercises and see how, what movements are replicated in what normal gym exercises, like your squat, your deadlift, your lat pull down, your chest press, all of that type of stuff. This is something I'm super passionate about and can't wait to share with you all. So if you have anything, any questions like that, please feel free to comment below. And if you like the content like this, please feel free to like this video and subscribe and hit those notifications so you don't miss a video when it drops. Lastly, you guys, I do have an online course to help you get into and accept it in physical therapy school. Like I mentioned, I am a physical therapist and I help students, PT students, become high performers and get accepted into physical therapy school. So I do have an online course that teaches you everything you need to know to get accepted, to give you the tips and the strategies to look ahead so that you can boost your application and help you stand out so that the schools will be able to see you and ultimately accept you. So I hope to see you in class. Please uh, feel free to check that link out. It is in the description below as well. All right, y'all, thank you so much for watching this video all the way to the end. Stay lifting, stay aloha. God bless. Have a great one, you guys.